Bro is here with me at my place, and Kyoko has gone home. I feel a lot better now, now that it's just the two of us. Everything just feels more right when we're alone together. <laughs> Sorry about Kyoko, he apologizes. Eh? Why? Well, you know, he says awkwardly. She asked all you all those questions and kept going on and on. She's just the kind of person who clings to people and runs your ear ragged. And then you shut that bitch up. Good job, Kana. You just you sure put a sock in her mouth. It's okay, bro, I say softly. I don't mind talking about you. It seems that she's pretty attached to you. She gets to be around you all the time and she really seems to like you. It makes you wonder why Kana won't just say, Hey, bro, why don't you have a normal life with Kyoko? I mean, she's really into you. And, you know, I've already said that I want to be with you, but I can't, and I know I can't, so I want you to have a normal life, so I'll stop loving you, and because I'll stop loving you, I'll, I want you to find a replacement, but no, no, it's like, and she reminded me what my whole life has been up until now. It's always, always, here, he says, I got something for you. He pulls up a small box from his pocket and opens it up. See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given, and I've got just the one. Yeah, I saw them at a jewelry store today, and I thought they looked great on you. I take the box and look, in and look inside. A pair of small heart-shaped earrings are inside. Inside. Wait. I take the box and look inside. A pair of small heart-shaped earrings are inside. Happiness wells up inside me at the sight. Inside. 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 He's still doing these things for me. I've tried to push these feelings away. He's still loving me. And here I am. I'm trying to... I can't help myself. Tears begin to fill my eyes. Kana? Bro asks, sounding worried. Is something wrong? I just shake my head mutely. The tears spill down my cheeks as I keep looking at the present he bought for me. They're beautiful, I whisper. They're so beautiful and... And you're so wonderful, bro. You're so... Sudeki! Why is it... Why can't I? Why can't we? Sobbing, I leap into his arms. I cry there against his chest, letting out everything I've tried to hold inside me. I love you so much, bro. It hasn't been that long, and yet the pain of being away from you has felt like forever. Bro? Bro? I'll love you forever. The days seem to be getting warmer lately. I'm at the store organizing some paperwork when someone walks in. Konnichiwa! I say automatically. If you ne Oh, that's not Japanese. She's being cut off. <laughs> okay. I stop when I see who it is. Yo, Kana! So it's true you work here now. It's Yuta. Why is he here? I mean, he was always nice to me back in junior high after he stopped picking on me, that is. Oh yeah, he was always nice to me after he stopped being mean to me. No, that makes sense. But still, Yuta is all I can manage. Ano Kana? He says, I can't hang around for long, but I was hoping you and I could talk for a bit later on today. I think for a moment. What could he want to talk about? I don't really know. Slowly, however, my head moves up and down. Just once. Great, he smiles. You've got the hang of it already. Now just do that a few times until you feel your mouth fill up and then you will be good. Let's meet at Pasta Pomodoro at around 4, okay? Ja, ne, ja, ne, ja, ne. <sighs> Look at you, Kana. Look at you, Kana. You can't even run your store. How are you going to make money? God knows you're going out to eat all the time to stuff your fucking bloated ass. And with that, he leaves the store. Why did I nod my head like that? I wonder what he's thinking. I guess I'll just have to go find out. It's like I don't have control over my own body. My arm is swinging around on its own will. My head's nodding up and down. My body is eating food, which I don't even know what the hell this food is. It could be poison. There could be like jizz in it. And I could, I'll just be eating. I'll be like, yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. Needs a little more salt. It's a few minutes before 4 o'clock when I get to the restaurant. Yuda is already standing out front. Yo, Kana, over here, he calls and smiles again as I walk towards him. So you want to get something to eat here? You want to grab a bite to eat? I know that they serve really good... Go dinner! Actually, I say, interrupting him. I just kind of want to hear what you had to say. Yes, you know, fuck your food, bitch. I don't want to be with him any longer than I have to. I'll just hear what he has to say and then go. 
Well, okay. Yuna seems a little disappointed. Oh, I, I wanted to be a, an enabler. I want to be a feeder. That sounds kind of cool. It's about me and Taka. When you had to go back to the hospital last time, well, I kind of said some things to Taka, and I don't, and I don't know. We just started going at it. I look at him, surprised. Bro, and you fought? I just want to say, I'm sorry. I know Taka means a lot to you, and well, you know, I um. It's alright, Yuda, I say. I understand what you're trying to say, and I forgive you. I start to turn around when a nearby clock strikes four. I look around for a moment, trying to figure out where the clock is, when Yuda puts both his hands on my shoulders, surprising me. Kana, Kana, I... What I mean is... Yuda takes a deep breath. Kana, you're so beautiful to me. I always think about you, and... Well, okay. Quick lesson for people who have not played the original game. Um... The thing is, like, Yuda has a crush on Kana, but, like, Yuda pretty much just cusses Kana's brother out because he realizes that they're fucking, or that they fucked, or that they were, like, you know, doing all sorts of shit together, and he basically says, you guys are sick, and I'm out of this bitch. So, this this is, like, a complete 180. I don't, this, this is beyond a 180. This is, like, this is, like, a fucking 540 over here. This is, like... He said he he basically went the opposite direction of what he originally said in the game. Then he kind of went back to it. and He's like, no, you know what? They are kind of sick. And then he's like, no, but Kana's really hot. So you know what? Yeah, it's a 540. I love you, Kana. Oh my God, what is this? What the fuck? What is wrong with you? How can you? How can a normal person love me? I mean, you're only I only love my brother. Okay, I'm not a sicko like you are. You just starts to close the gap between us with great long strides of his manly legs. Is he? No, he's not going to, to, he's not going to use his turbo, is he? Yay! No. Yeah, that, that, that's my reaction. No. No, that, that, that's not what, no. No! That is not what you say! You fucking weeaboo! You don't know what the fuck you are saying! You don't know Japanese! Why are you using it? There's more than one way to say no. And in this situation, EA is not what you say. EA is a very formal way of saying it. When someone is accosting you, you don't say EA. I'm not even going to tell you what the right thing to say is, you dick. Because obviously, you didn't take more than three days of Japanese before you decided that you were somehow lord and master of all things Nippon. <sighs> yeah, this music describes my mood right now. I am sad facing. A lot. I scream as I shake loose from Yuda's grip. Tears begin to well in my eyes and Yuda looks heartbroken. Go man, Yuta. Go man. I whisper before I go running off. It's wrong. It just feels wrong. It's not right when when I'm being screwed by my bro when it's not you, bro. Oh, okay. It's it's not right when it's not you, bro. Okay. When you're not with me, but but with someone else. It doesn't feel right. I'm jealous. Oh, I want I want Taka to have a normal life, but I'm jealous. Taka.